Hello? It's me. Where are you? You close? Let's do it over the phone. No word yet. No one knows where our friend is. It's not that there's no word. It's that there's no progress. Nobody's taking this lightly, Phil. He should have been done first. They thought they'd find them both at the strip joint. I've heard this already. But I know you're disappointed, Phil. I can hear it in everything you say. Fucking A, I'm disappointed. I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe... What? You talking about reaching out? We can't go back. Are you out of your fucking mind? No, I know. Then what'd you say it for? I didn't, Phil. You did. Listen, kid. When this is over, we're gonna sit down. Me and you. I hope so. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I said I hope. Cafe Napoli. George. It's Anthony. Your fucking ears must be ringing. I just left your friend, the son, crying the blues over the situation between you and that Alfred over there. Well, that's why I'm calling. I need you to reach out to the little guy. He's not happy with Phil, neither. I know. You're not part of that family. You're basically retired. Everybody trusts you. What I'm thinking, you'd supply a neutral location, guarantee everybody's safety. I could do that. Anybody want a water? No, no. We started it. We get a dead Guman in Queens and our old Ukrainian father. And I'm not even gonna blame Phil. John Sacramone, my friend. I'm sorry to say he was an insecure guy. And he created a constant tension within his own family which spilled over. Go ahead, Carmine. George was good enough to broker this meeting for us. You're just gonna sit there? It didn't have to be this way. We agree. It's gone too far. Phil, I don't know. It's changed. You got my word. We'll back off. My price is you help us get a location on Phil. I can't go there. Well, you do what you gotta do. One more thing. You hit my brother-in-law. So? This is my sister we're talking about. She's got to see something out of this. We'll come up with a number. 